the holiest of temples for sick pilgrims, golden in the afternoon light, a place of devotion and to capture memories. The songs religious and spiritual, but this was also the site of violence and turmoil nearly 40 years ago. An insurgency of armed Sikh separatists fighting for an independent state called Khalistan occupied the temple. Indian soldiers laid siege, eventually storming the holy site. Thousands of Sikhs died in the riots that followed, the pain still raw in Punjab. And yet, many here flatly reject the idea of a Sikh state. I'm proud to be feel an Indian. Like Amanpal Singh, who's more worried about the economy. No, ma'am, there is a no Khalistani movement in Punjab. That there is a need of the, uh, right now, the employment. A deep concern that ripples through the heart of Punjab, an area that many young people have abandoned to go study abroad. Even if the hot topic of discussion these days is how Ottawa is accusing New Delhi of having a hand in the shooting death of a Canadian Sikh separatist on Canadian soil. What even is Khalistan, Sardur Singh says. We don't know. It's all politics, and we are the ones who suffer. This man was a police officer in the 1980s when anti-Sikh riots gripped the capital. There were dead bodies in the streets, Naseeb Singh Sangna says. Many don't remember the dark days. Why would we want to return to that unrest? There is a fierce anger here at the Indian government in the sense that Punjab has been slighted and not given its due. But also the sense that fighting for Khalistan isn't the answer. I think there is no need to repeat uh, the demands of Khalistan. We are happy. Happy as part of India, less happy to be caught in a political game for votes, people here say. By India's ruling BJP, intent on deepening divides. Near elections, they have just an election ploy. Let's talk about Khalistan. Let's create a mess in the people. We stand for... There is a section of Sikh society in Punjab that's still fighting, and they argue that support for their movement is strong but silent. Over here, there is a fear of uh, crackdown. There is a fear of harassment. There is a fear of being booked under draconian laws, which is not in the case in Canada, UK, and USA. Whatever we see in diaspora, that is the reflection of the movement in Punjab. So many people here tell me they fear the power of social media to exaggerate support for Khalistan. They worry that all Sikhs are being branded Khalistanis, terrorists. And most say there's a clear disconnect between how they see the fight for an independent state and how the Sikh diaspora sees it. A view frozen in time. Abruptly came to an end in 1992-93. Even though support for Khalistan in Punjab collapsed in the early 90s, says this expert, the diaspora clings to a past that's no longer. They don't go by the logic. Sometimes they go by the history. Some they go by the, that glorious period. Okay, that, that was there. But things have changed a lot. Change and evolved with other more pressing concerns now top of mind. A sixth state for those here, no longer a priority.